what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we are officially returning to the age of apes now if you guys remember i played age of apes a couple of months ago when the game was in early access it was only available on the google play store it wasn't available for ios and i played the game for a little bit i had a really good time with the game but without being able to play it on the go i quickly fell behind basically the entire server and i wasn't able to keep up with it but the folks over there at tap for fun they reached out to me and they said hey listen there's been a ton of new updates that have come out and that are on on the way for this game and we would love if you would give the game a chance and give it a try and the game is in case you guys were wondering available now on ios i think it came out back in uh, like september now i do remember a couple of you guys actually commenting on some of my previous videos saying that you wanted me to actually cover more age of apes this is a game that you enjoy playing and so i'm really excited to be back and playing again and we are starting fresh because uh, apparently a lot has changed in the game and so i need to basically figure out what has changed what's new uh what do i have to learn now i skipped the tutorial for this video right uh you can see we're already inside my little uh my little base here and the reason for this is because the tutorial hasn't changed at all and if you guys are just getting started you will uh have no problem getting through the tutorial it walks you it, it holds your hand the entire way the only important decision that i made during that time was essentially which clan to go with and as you can see i went with the rogue gunners the reason for this is because if you pick the red clan it looks like every single time your first summon is is Mike now the reason I wanted to start with Mike is because he is an epic hero in this game uh, he's an epic fighter and he has a circular AoE uh, damage with his first skill so 360 degree AoE with a damage factor of a thousand if you go through all of the other epic fighters in this game uh, none of them have the circular AoE so I feel like that's going to be really important later on the line i really want to try that out and a lot of the other epic fighters uh, if you compare all of them together they're very similar in like the stats that they provide for different troop types so for the most part they are uh they're on par but that circular aoe certainly seems like something that makes him stand out now really quick they changed these models these models look so 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 good um they're so animated and 3d they look amazing and you can see here that there's actually a lot of uh new fighters that we have in the game some legendary as well as some I think it's like there's one more uh, epic in here as well which is really really cool but man these these models look so good these animations I absolutely love it let's look at Rodriguez So anyway, that's why I picked the red clan. You guys can pick whatever you want, but we got to jump into the game now. Okay. Uh, we've already explored one fog area. So let's claim some of these main quests, secondary quests, things like that. Explore fog. It looks like, it looks like a lot of the fog was already explored potentially by my clan or the fact that, yeah. So it looks like a lot was explored. Let's see if we want to find bananas in space, we must help our clan launch a rocket. Look, the launch pad in the center of the map. It's our only hope for a successful rocket launch. So if you guys didn't know, uh, this is the map here on the screen and you each, each of the different colors of uh, clans starts in a different portion here. And uh, you work towards the center of the map. So as you can see here, the red clan has already made significant progress here, even though this is a new server, this is the newest server that I could pick. So there's already some fighting here, I guess, going on between red and yellow. So we gotta, we gotta start building up this. We gotta start building up this base. Okay. The first thing we gotta do, we gotta change our name. Everybody needs to know that we're not player nine, a Z L G, whatever that just said. Let's see if I can make it Omni arc. Let's see. Okay. So we can do Omni arc. That's good. Uh, I have my other account called Omni arc, but that's on a different server. So I guess you can have uh, your own name for each server, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and charge the projector because this is how we're going to get food and iron produced. That's important. Everything in the tavern is going to be free, good stuff or trades that are absolutely worth doing. So we have to do that free CDs. That's always good. Uh, CDs are the premium currency in this game. So getting that for free, absolutely worth it. We're going to trade some resources there as well. Let's change our name. Uh, quest. We'll take those rewards. Let's see what's here. Welcome to age of apes. Uh, we get some uh, free stuff. So we'll reading claim all that's good this is amazing we are getting a jump start so for the first couple of city halls what you want to do is you just want to follow this main quest uh as closely as possible like whatever it says to do you want to do that uh five seconds we can wait those five seconds you didn't even have to wait those five seconds because i can edit it let's claim that build the warehouse okay let's see what the warehouse is stores and protects resources great so if we get attacked uh, we should be fine we should have a peace shield as well which is good we do this says we have it for another two days so that's really good we have two days basically to get our uh 
uh, our city as strong as possible let's collect that warehouse um, quest and it says start training 15 pilots so we'll go ahead and do that you can see here 15 is the maximum I guess that we can train explore 25 fog we've already done that because of our clan uh, get a chest from the tavern upgrade your defense walls to level two so let's go ahead and do that that is easy now it's really important to join a really uh, as as popular of a gang as you can because essentially you're going to be able to get helps from the people that are in these uh in these gangs and so i'm thinking i might make my own eventually but for right now let's join uh one of these gangs that has a lot of um is i guess this is power right we probably want that uh bomb strike great we've got mail okay so let's take a look here the territory we're starting to get resources which is good um they are building a distributor here all right so we're going to teleport closer to our gang now uh this is i guess uh what they tutorial tells me that this is the best place to go i'm going to teleport onto like the edge of the territory here uh just because why not let's go ahead and do that and boom there we go okay so we've used enough energy to get that secondary quest which is good we've used a lot of energy apparently where did this actually bring us where did this bring us on the map i'm just curious to know um we are in the fighting zone so okay maybe that wasn't a great uh, great choice but that's okay we'll be fine we'll be we'll be all right oh looks like we get some free cds just for joining a gang so if you guys need an incentive already there you go so make sure you go ahead and do that try to join one that's really active with a lot of players that way you get as many uh helps on your building and everything as you can so let's start doing uh we can collect these daily quests these daily quests are super important oh look we got even more stuff look at that um because you get uh these projector modules and these are what you need in order to upgrade the holo projector and this is like i said before this is how you actually get food and iron production which are your resources for upgrading buildings and training troops and all that good stuff so it's important to upgrade this as much as you can and you can only do that if you do these daily quests so you need to do that you can't ignore it it is what it is all right now this is the fun part this is the arena this is where you're actually going to get your heroes your fighters this is the good stuff so um your time you can attend a duel essentially that's how this works and basically you don't actually have to do anything you just redeem your ticket and uh the the fighter comes out and sometimes it's not a fighter um in this instance it is uh i think you probably get sir francis for free every time um potentially for the first one i'm not entirely sure i know you start with him uh but the first summon is probably him if not it's something similar but um this is going to be a uh, a gathering commander which is really really good so the animation on him looks amazing again by the way super good so we got the 10 medals of him that's awesome let's go ahead and open up the free one as well we'll see what we get here sometimes you get like speed ups and resources and other good stuff we got another sir francis cool that's awesome uh do we have tickets we do let's open let's open two more tickets just to see what we get out of this anything that we get right now is something that we need because again i started this account just now it's brand new we don't have any any uh previous things from our old account anymore so we got a one hour universal speed up i'm sure we'll uh, need that eventually let's build the hitters camp so the hitters are another type of unit in this game so let's start training those hitters we'll go ahead and do that we'll train some uh some of the pilots as well while we're over here um we explored the fog defeat a level one mutant so here we're going to start fighting some of the uh pve content so mutant monkeys we spawn the level one nearby so here we can see some of the different kinds of uh, pve content the mutant monkeys are the ones that you can just go ahead and fight the brute looter are some uh, more powerful ones as well and then we got this big question mark over here so that's a big bad boy over there let's go ahead and attack him these are the potential rewards um we'll see what we can get we're going to use our boy mike uh can we bring more than that he what does he does he use he's a, a shooter he he likes shooters we don't have shooters yet so let's just use hitters we should be fine this is a level one there's literally no way that we're gonna lose this right absolutely not okay great this he doesn't even he doesn't even dent us and look at those animations man this actually looks really really good i really like whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing pal what are you doing don't get carried away mike don't get carried away but seriously look at this guys this looks so good this looks way better than it did before seriously you can actually see all the units running around you can see the commander right up front like clear as day full 3d animation he's running around in his own little pattern with his gun uh trailing behind him i know this is like a really simple thing like this is fine but but like it just looks so much better than it did before so that's really nice to see okay let's go back to our city and we'll start claiming some of these quests um march to gather resources oh that's what i did by accident okay let's upgrade the warehouse we haven't done anything with the warehouse right now um so again we're just following this main quest basically we have to upgrade it to level three i believe in order to uh 
to progress and we do have some daily quests that we can consume or collect here which is really really good this is awesome so we're going to increase the defense walls to three wow that 10 second wait time man i don't know what i'm going to do about that let's go ahead and heal those instantaneously those two troops that were defeated what, what do we get from that fight anyway oh we got uh, five shiny cds oh and five of scott metal okay that's good so scott is another one of the fighters it looks like we can actually increase the skill no this the talent here so he leveled up so this looks like march speed and balance and this is for shooters so i'm gonna you can reset this later but i'm gonna go ahead and increase shooter attack uh just because why not i don't want it to just be sitting there with a little number one and let's see what uh what do we got here for sir francis hit the ground with the shield um, this does i guess damage with reducing attack um increased food and iron gathering speed increases carrying capacity and march speed increases attack of wall breakers this this uh third skill here is actually the one that i want to upgrade so i'm actually not going to use my metals to upgrade this just yet because i want to level him up a little bit more so we're going to use some experience on him in just a bit i won't use that right now because it's not in, it's not like crucial that he get, he levels up right this second um but let's go ahead and upgrade our city hall this is a um a five minute wait he wants us to uh speed it up i guess we can go ahead and do that because we don't have the ability to uh to get helps from our from our our gang yet so let's build the research lab this is where we're going to start to get some technology involved this is important everybody knows technology is what brought the monkeys out of the jungle to begin with here we are uh 2021 coming up guys i hope you guys had a really good uh christmas hanukkah holidays whatever you guys uh celebrate whatever country you're in Hopefully you guys had a really good holidays. I know I haven't been as active lately, but anyway, let's go ahead and claim some of these dailies here. This is important as well. Let's start our research. We'll just, whatever the next one is, we'll, oh, we don't need, that's five seconds. That'll be done instantly, basically. So whatever, research iron to level one, done. Defeat level two monkeys. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll spawn them. Oh no, that's a level one. We, we want a level two, get out of here. We're, we've graduated from your trash already. Let's go ahead, send Mike out here dual wielding pistols absolute savage we got some wall breakers there i guess for some sort of quest that we <clears throat> completed i don't know let's get uh this we're completing these dailies at a shockingly fast rate looks like we defeated him with no issue start healing we already did that uh we're claiming everything right now upgrade hitters camp to level two that'll take two seconds do we get a second builder um let's use that it looks like i have it for two Two days so now we have two builders which is super good so we're just gonna be upgrading literally everything right now because we're gonna have to do it you know we're gonna do it you know we have to do it there's no choice no chance um, let's see Ooh, a 15 minute upgrade maybe I shouldn't have done that right off the bat but it is what it is okay look at these events these are the events that we're that we're interested in okay because this is a new server uh, praise the bananas this is uh to get laurent this is i think he's a gathering or peacekeeping hero i don't remember exactly but let's claim some of these rewards these are just free rewards that we get for playing the game it looks like the first ultimate monkey ranking is already underway this is alarming i'm not going to be able to participate in this one apparently uh, and then this is the first ever uh like power event basically you get a rocket uh hall skin which is really cool plus you get a bunch of other goodies here as well so we'll have to see how far we can go here which is good it also gives you a lot of stats this skin which is awesome uh, and then mission takeoff so this i believe <clears throat> is um also for brand new servers i believe or new accounts potentially one or the other in this instance it's both because it's a new server uh but we got some things to claim here as well so boom there's that so i think i said peacekeeping earlier but it's actually the hunting tree so this is what's good for killing the pve content out on the field and we can summon our boy scott so now you notice they set you up perfectly right you have a you have a uh, a fighter a hero here that you can use to fight the mutants and get you some more experience and you also have a fighter here that is good for gathering so you have sir francis at your disposal so these again these animations dude they look so good they look so good uh i'm really happy to see that they've made them look even better than they did before uh, and then we also have a pvp uh hero here obviously we are nowhere close to being ready to pvp but um i think mike will be our, our go-to once we start that process and look at that sick vest dude let's go 
oh nice dude we have more tickets let's go ahead and open these because you know it's always exciting when you could potentially get something really good we got 10,000 food that's fine we're gonna need that i i know we're gonna need the resources at the beginning of these games like that is the number one thing you need to be gathering all the time and that was the problem with me not having the game on my phone but now i do okay i i, I have it on my phone i will show you it's right here i'm ready to go okay i'm ready for age of apes on the go <clears throat> let's see what we got here this is mini blue gene potion okay we get tons of those those are basically to level up the star level of your uh, fighters let's open up this golden ticket so see what we get we need some legendaries baby or epics or something like that okay it's a gene potion it is what it is we're gonna need those eventually but it's always more exciting for heroes but w w we need patience okay this account's like 20 minutes old we we don't need a legendary right now we got a lot of stuff to do okay a legendary might bite me a little bit overwhelming to be honest right now so okay it's fine it's fine it, it is what it is let's go ahead and upgrade everything as much as we can we need to do this okay the research lab is level four now so we definitely can start making some progress on this economic technology this is going to be super important for the early game i know there's like uh, obviously the the uh the desire to start the military tech and just start you know building up this massive army but uh realistically speaking you need to do economic first before you start focusing on some of the uh, some of the military or electronic technology oh are we gonna see an active skill go off are we gonna see that active skill let's see it oh there he is look at that aoe baby let's go dude this looks so good these animations look so so good all right we completed the daily quests here we got 100 cds we got some other buffs here uh we got three universal purple medals these are for your epic fighters to get the skills up on them those are super important so if you didn't already have a super important reason to upgrade and do uh your daily quests like you're gonna need those medals regardless so let's go ahead and upgrade this uh, holo projector so we can get some more resources and be on our way i gotta say i'm really impressed with all of the uh performance enhancements in this game just the quality of life improvements so it seems like the game just runs smoother it's a bit more streamlined it's a bit prettier to look at and of course there's tons of events that they have in the game already and are adding in the near future there's tons of new fighters that they've added into the game even since i have played the game last and we're going to be talking about some of these new fighters in the future so make sure you guys keep an eye out for those so i'm excited to see what comes from the developer for this game and I'm gonna be keeping up with this account now that I can actually play it on my phone and I think the sheer amount of time and effort that they're putting into this game really just goes to show how much they want this game to do really really well and they're they're pouring everything into this game to make it really fun for everybody so like I said there's a link in the description below to download age of apes it's absolutely free to play free to try I'm playing it on blue stacks on my computer but you can also play it on Android iOS everything like that with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a a thumbs up on it and comment down below letting me know what you want to see from age of apes if you want to see more of these videos if there's anything you want to learn about the game comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an age of apes video and as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter everything down in the description with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace